Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna teach you how you can do chicken terrin like for Michelin star restaurant at home. You interested? So stay tuned. And if you first time here, click the subscribe button down below so you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel I'm gonna teach you how you can cook home like a pro. And now let's do it. I'm Chef Mike and today I'm gonna teach you how you can do this chicken terrin with shiitake mushroom, garlic, apples and radishes at home. This recipe is super tasty and you're gonna love it. And first we start with our terrin. We're gonna use chicken legs. We just salt them 30 minutes before confiting so the salt can really penetrate inside the meat. Next, I got some shiitake mushroom here, so I'm just gonna cut the middle part out because it's not really nice to eat, guys. And then, I just put chicken, mushroom and garlic inside the vegetable oil and on medium heat I'm bringing the temperature around 90 degrees. You wanna see a little bit boiling oil but not too much guys, we don't wanna fry the chicken. I just gonna cut mushroom a little bit smaller so they can fill in the pan. And I know it looks like a little bit too much oil, but no worries. You can use this oil many times for confiting, or you can use for roast potatoes, and this is gonna taste just amazing. And this is what you want, low simmer on your oil. When you get dry temperature, we're gonna put cartridge on the top, so everything stays underneath the oil, and then, Turn heat to low and leave it to cook around one hour. So the chickens are cooked, so we're gonna take them out. And in this time, I'm gonna put my gelatin inside the water, so it's ready to use. And if you wanna learn more about gelatin, how to use it, and about the healthy benefits of gelatin for your body, I got full guide on my blog, so I'm gonna leave link in the description down below so you can check it out. And I know it doesn't look nice for now, but believe me guys, these chickens are super tasty. Now I'm gonna cut mushroom to smaller pieces and I chop also some walnuts and fresh thyme. And now we just mix everything together. My confit chicken, mushrooms, garlic, walnuts and fresh thyme. And season it with salt and pepper. I got here also some chicken stock, so I'm gonna melt gelatin inside and mix with my chicken.
Then I put everything inside the mold, cover with clean film and leave inside the fridge overnight to set. Just make sure you cover everything nicely so there's no bubbles inside. You can put also something heavy on the top so your terrine is nice and flat. Next, I'm gonna do nice roast onion. I got yellow onion guys because I didn't find any big white onion in my shop. But if you get a chance to use white onion, use it, it has better taste. I just roast it on vegetable oil until I get nice color. Then I put some butter, salt and pepper and fresh thyme and leave it to roast together for a few minutes. And that's it, amazing roast onion. Next, I'm gonna do a few slices of radishes and marinate them with lemon juice and salt. And then I got a nice slice of apple and leave it in the water with lemon so it stays white. So my chicken terrine is done and I'm just gonna cut with this ring. So we got everything ready and now it's time to put on the plate. We start with nice caramelized onion, then slice of apple, so you get nice fresh crunch and you're not gonna melt your terrine on the top of the hot onion. Then is coming my amazing terrine and on the top marinated radishes. In the middle, I'm gonna put some whole grain mustard. And finish with few carrot tops. And last thing, I keep one confit garlic with amazing sweet taste, so I put him on the top. And that's it guys, enjoy! 
I hope you enjoyed today's recipe, guys. Try it at home and let me know in the comment if you like it or not. If you want to learn more about healthy benefits of gelatin for your body, I got a full article on my blog, so I'm gonna leave link in the description down below so you can check it out. And if you're first time here, click the subscribe button, so like this, you're never gonna miss any of my new video, because on this channel, I'm gonna teach you how you can cook like a pro at home. Thank you for watching, and I see you soon.